Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. So there was a lot of interest in last week's video where I showed how to design this model here. And I was asked if I would continue with showing how to make the rest of the design. So today, why don't we tackle these little tabs here at the end and see how we can go about modeling those. Now, I'm gonna recommend that you pause the video and you give it a shot yourself. Just uh, jump into Fusion 360 and see if you can come up with a solution. And if you do, then compare it with my solution and see if it's the same. And if it's different, I would love to hear about it. So let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump in. I'll start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. And now we're looking at it in a top-down view. And I'm going to grab my center rectangle tool and just create a rectangle somewhere over here. And I'll constrain this center point with the origin. So we'll grab that constraint and select both of those points. And then next, I'm just going to double click my rectangle there and just bring it into place. I'm not going to worry too much about um, dimensions here. I just kind of want to show the steps instead of trying to be precise. All right, I'll click Stop Sketch. And let's orbit to this view here. And then I'm just going to do an extrude cut right down through this surface there. So E for Extrude, select that profile and go down, making sure I'm going all the way through. Um, let's just choose uh, distance instead of the distance, we'll choose all, click OK. All right, now we're gonna grab our extrude tool again and grab that surface there and bring that out. And that pulls it right through, I'll click OK. What I wanna do is just have this now go up, do like a 90 degree turn up. And the way I can do that is just to create another sketch here on my XY plane. And I'm just going to take a line, um, draw it across here. I'm making sure it's horizontal. I've got that perpendicular constraint, so I'm good. I'm going to dimension this line from this top edge and make it five millimeters. And now I'll click Stop Sketch. And now we'll do the same procedure I did last week where I used the Split Face tool. Um, to cut this or split that face. So we'll go to Modify down to Split Face. And I'll choose this surface here as my face to split. My splitting tool is gonna be the line I just made. So I'll select that, click OK. And there goes my split face there. So now I can take that surface and do a press pull. We'll go right here to press pull. I'll just take that arrow and drag it up. And you can see it's gonna start to curve because that's just the shape. Um, and it's going to continue that shape. Uh, so I'll click OK, but that's an easy fix. I'll just uh, draw a line here. Um, so I'll create a line on this surface here, create a sketch, and then just take a line across. Uh, multiple ways I can do that. The uh, quickest way is just to kind of draw a box right now. I'm, I'm going to cut it through, uh, extrude this through to give me a cut. All right, now there's my sort of bracket there and the rest of it is just really fillets. I mean, um, I'll go ahead and just fillet this side here, here. Uh, I'll do like a five millimeter fillet and let's fillet this edge here and this edge. Bring that down, let's get a better view here. Uh, bring it down to what looks good, that looks good. And let's do these outer edges here. Let's go to a top view. Bring that out a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe like a. Uh, do an eight millimeter there. Okay, so there it goes. I mean, that's that gets the job done. I think. What do you guys think? Um, I have another little trick for you I want to show you because I was kind of playing around with this to see um, what I can do with it. And if you take a look at this picture here, notice how this other side is angled a little bit. How could we get that angle? Well, check this out. I'm going to right click and go to move copy and I'm going to change my move object to faces and I'm going to select this face here as well as this face here in my front. And now I'm just going to take this little slider here, bring it back. And I got a little a little angle there, just like the picture. So we'll click OK. What do you think of that? Did you know you could use that move face tool to just angle these faces like that? <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm here every week with a little quick tip or a tutorial or whatever I decide to do or maybe what you guys request. So 
Uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos. Let me know your thoughts or if you have any questions, uh, requests, uh, leave it down below as well. I'm gonna try to keep these consistent on Sundays. I think Sundays seem to work the best because I can record them on Saturdays. I know I tried Tuesday and then I moved it to Thursday, but uh, let's shoot for Sunday and see what happens. All right, thumbs up if you like this or if you learned something. Feel free to share the video with someone who you think could use some Fusion 360 tips and I'll see you next week.